Ladies and gentlemen, we're Brian Ghent at the moment from the Gilburn Owners Club. Brian, great to see you all here this weekend. Um, tell us a little bit about the Gilburns and uh, what what they are and uh, your celebrations here this weekend. Well, it's obviously it's very nice to be here again. Um, Gilburns have been coming here since 1962. Started with the first Aston Martin Owners Club meeting in I think in April of that year. Um, the first car that ran here was only a few weeks old when, when it first appeared. And of course they were built in South Wales at that time by just two guys in a shed um, and we nobody ever realised that they would go on and produce over a thousand cars between 1960 and 1975. Um, about 600 to 650 still survive worldwide which was quite a good attrition rate and there's quite a lot of us down here who enjoy coming out and doing some motorsport. So the, the actual Gilburn cars, uh, the very very early ones, uh, they I believe had MG engines. What was uh, the sort of like the gestation as it went along? Well the, the very early cars actually had uh, Austin A35 engines and the one of the cars that's going to be in the historic display tomorrow is in fact the very car first car that ran here in 1962 which was a supercharged A series. Um, they then moved on to use the MG A engine and then the MG B engine in the GT and then after that everything had the V6 Essex engine which was familiar to the Capri and the Zodiac. So uh, well, tomorrow you've got a, a celebration going on, obviously this is Saturday today and uh, anybody wants to come down, will they be able to get to see the cars? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, there'll be, apart from the cars that are running, um, there could be some members cars parked up in the top paddock and in the bottom paddock we've got our marquee with our photographic display in it and selling some regalia if anybody's interested. And we've got eight historic cars that have all run here in the past including the Hill record holder from 1995, which was driven by Nigel Ellis at a time of 47.08. Uh, Steve Arnold's supercharged car that ran here with Rex Hardy and Ray Eve in 1962, and some other interesting cars as well. So do please come along and visit our tent. Lovely, thank you for that. And uh, do you want to just, should we just walk down through the line of cars that you've got here and you just give us a little bit about, uh, you know, the differences between them perhaps? Well, th th this is the Gilburn Genie, which superseded the GT in 1967. This one's been uh, extensively modified and currently has a Mercedes engine in it. Then we move on down to the GT. This was the mainstay of the Gilburn range from 1960 to, to into 1966. Um, and they moved away to make a more spacious car with the Genie. Um, and then further down is but the that, Mark that's III. That's the Invader engine. down there, the Mark III Invader, that's yes. That's right, yeah, that's yeah. right. So that was a slightly more facelifted model, I seem to remember. Didn't they do an estate? But Sorry, is it shooting break or an estate no, in Gilburn? It, it, it's an estate, and that was a version of the Invader Mark II. And they, I think they made 104 of those. And they were very popular with sort of professionals like vets and doctors because they could get all their clutter in the back. Yeah, lovely. So anyway, thank you for that. It'd be great, as I say, if people want to come down tomorrow and have a look at your cars, they'd be most welcome. Um, we'll have a look at uh, them on the hill at some point, no doubt. Uh, anybody who's uh, coming down, bring their cameras. And uh, if anybody gets any decent photos, I'm, I'm sure you'll be very much appreciative of uh, seeing them, won't you? Thank you very much. Very nice to be here, Dave. Thank you very much. Dave.
Yeah. 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 Yeah.